James Robert Clark III. What do we know about this oddly shaped man? He lives alone in a government-provided home earning a government-funded paycheck. He is a racist. He is a stalker. He is a habitual liar. He is a borderline pedophile. He lives in a world where he thinks he looks in his twenties, yet in reality, he looks closer to fifty. His swollen cheeks and crooked jawline, his messed up teeth and eye bags and the poor condition of his skin give his age away. He is fascinated with girls half his age and on more than one occasion has expressed his desire for a female under the age of eighteen. Once by telling a girl he was stalking online that her 15-year-old picture was a hot piece of jailbait which aroused him and another time mentioning moving to another country where the age of consent was lower than 18. He also claims a biological adult means a female that has gained her period, so according to James, if she is old enough to bleed, she is old enough to breed. James has a criminal record that he denies over and over again, even though the proof has shown the record belongs to him. He's done everything from claim he doesn't have a record to stating his criminal record is different. He even goes as far to state he studied criminal justice in college while actually knowing nothing about the law. My greatest joy comes in seeing James melt down on his community tab on YouTube. He rages in his bigotry and racism and name-calling as if he is a 13-year-old losing his temper over a game of Fortnite. He believes he looks better and younger than his adversaries and screams in his narcissistic ways about sex and physical condition in ways only a child would. Little Jimmy gets extremely upset and angry when people point out his faults, mental health or physical appearance, yet he spends much of his day bullying anyone on the internet that has a different opinion of himself by calling them ridiculous Trump-like names and insulting their appearance, voice, nationality, or race. James claims to be a vegan. Cell phones, tablets, TVs all have parts that use animal products in their production, yet he uses these products. Also much of our clothing, sports equipment, candy, medicine, adhesives, and plastics use animal by-products. Even the seats in Jimbo's car are made from animal products. The fact is, Jimmy Boy chooses to be vegan because the only food he can afford is his beans and peas, not because he chose that lifestyle. This man also claims to be an expert in some form of martial arts, he claims to have extensive training and even judges kids' competitions. He has repeatedly backed down from challenges and refuses to show any proof of these claims. Once again, we catch James in a lie, very similar to the lie that he served in the military or doesn't have a criminal record or went to college. All in all, James is the definition of a boy who just can't grow up, but I have one more point to bring up. He draws a government check and lives in government housing, sitting at home all day without a job while he watches YouTube and fantasizes about underage girls. He claims he is intelligent and healthy and doesn't have any mental issues. What does that mean? He's defrauding the government. If James has no health or mental issues as he claims, then he can hold a job. James is just plain lazy. Stay away from this unstable man. He's already spent years stalking a young woman from Argentina and is beginning a crusade to stalk a nurse from a local hospital. He spends hours recording love letters to girls on the internet via YouTube. He's a scary little man that will spend the rest of his life lying to females to groom them, trick them into dating him. Any woman with common sense his own age won't date him because he is not stable and has no career or life. That is why he tends to target and stalk young girls. We all need to take a moment to recognize this sick behavior and teach our friends, family, and children this is not okay. Until we meet again, this has been another video from The Truthful Lie.